Hi, this is Lindsay from Snail Mail, and you're watching Nardwar's Video Vault. Nardwar! Who are you? I'm Lindsay of Snail Mail. Lindsay, welcome to Vancouver, British Columbia, Canada, Neptune Records. Thank you so much. Lindsay's from Snail Mail. I have a gift for you right off the bat, a Fiona Apple poster. <laughs> wow. From 1998, signed by Vancouver artist Bob Massey. Wow. Wow. Oh my God. But Fiona Apple is kind of important for Snail Mail, right? Yeah. Yeah. She's huge. She's like one of my biggest songwriting inspirations and performing inspirations of all time. This will go in my house. Lindsay Jordan of Snail Mail, were you a security guard at the age of 14? <laughs> yes. Yeah. Um, I worked at Meriwether Post Pavilion for several years, and my sister was a manager there. Um, now, what was your job as a security guard? Um, I, I checked tickets. I checked bags. I stood by like VIP gates and sometimes near the backstage area and would, would uh, chase people away and stuff, but... I wasn't a narc. What did you look like back then when you were 14? Did you look like a younger security guard? Yeah, I was tiny. Um, I had black hair and bangs and braces and glasses. And I wore the Meriwether Post hat and Timberlands and cargo shorts. Still, well, what is going on here exactly? The eight balls. <laughs> the eight balls. Yeah, the eight balls. This is, um, this was my parents' friends band, um... This is Vince, and uh, that's me with my knockoff Les Paul LTD edition. Wearing sandals. <laughs> yeah, uh, rocking the flops. Something I don't do as much anymore, but maybe should start. And what were you playing there? Some Motown could explain the eight balls. <laughs> uh, probably a cover of Sweet Home Alabama. We, uh, I sometimes sat in with them and would, would play guitar solos or sing backup. So this is probably a picture of me ripping a sweet guitar solo on Sweet Home Alabama outside at a party, barbecue. Kathy and Vince. Kathy and Vince, that's right. The Looney's Pub. Looney's Pub, yeah, okay, so, yeah. My, <laughs> my mom owns a bra store in Columbia, Maryland. Uh, Ra la la! <laughs> yeah. And right next door is Looney's Pub, um, and there would be charity events there. Uh, that I guess my mom had some part to do with and, and Kathy and Vince would play and then the eight balls and then I would sit in and then eventually do my own cover set there. How did she convince Vince and Kathy? I, I, I what don't know. What is a pitch? I think I was really passionate and excited and just like, you know, kind of shredding early on and I think I just had the, uh, the nerve and the fire and I wanted to go shred some classic rock jams with the boys. You also participated in Godspell. It's true. It's true. Yeah, I played guitar in the pit band for Godspell. Very challenging. And how is that? How is that? Why is it challenging? Wow. <laughs> um, this I don't I don't know. Those... Did you do a solo? Like, did they were they really restrict though? <laughs> well, the the solos were all te you know they were all sheet music to out for me, which was hard. And the timing is so exact in the. Um, oh, Chris Hedenbach was my... Okay, yes. He was the pit band director. Okay. Uh, yeah, it was uh, It was just... It's very, like, cut and dry. You can't really mess around at all. Because, you know, you're playing to support the actors and the singers. And, and if you mess up, it's really on you. And I did, actually realizing I did have a solo. And it was bad. <laughs> did you ever mess up? Yes, absolutely. I totally messed up. I never really feel like... I, I never felt like I really got it. You are kind of like a mirror, aren't you? In other words, you mirror back the lyrics to performers sometimes. How hard is it to mirror back the lyrics? And do you ever trip up performers? Because you know the lyrics and they don't. Well, <laughs> it's been a while. Um, but I, I definitely think that there would be times where I would be like, you know, right on it, getting the lyrics perfectly correct and, and getting the phrasing perfectly correct. And, and, you know, live performers like to mix it up. And so I think I would kind of like... Maybe throw them off because I was so aggressively mouthing the lyrics that it would... Because that happens to me, too. I mean, there's one show, and I like to mix things up, and there's one show in Austin where someone was singing so loud right in front of the mirror or the monitor that I could hear it over myself. And I was like, I don't even know what the lyrics of the song are. 
<laughs> what exactly is going on right here? <laughs> Black Sparks. Yeah, so this is Ray's old hardcore band, the Black Sparks, sort of uh, DC legends. They played Fort Reno. Um, they, you know, they were actually pretty widely known over there. Um, they had like a post article about them. And uh, yeah, they were like really young. And Ray had this beautiful, luscious head of hair. And you met him at a Shermag gig? Yeah. Yeah. Um, we had mutual friends. So and- it wasn't socks. No, no, no. Um, it was like a friend setup. My friend was like, you would love this guy. And I was like, I do. He's awesome. So, Lindsay from Snail Mail, you've been on the road doing how many gigs in the past couple of years? How many did we do this year, at least? You know, like 200. Uh, who is that over there? Could you please explain? Um, that's Lisa Larson, our tour manager extraordinaire. She's been Snail Mail's tour manager since the very beginning. She's a great friend and um, our humble leader. And she knows all the gigs. Yeah, I mean, Ray, Ray's the person who would know all the gigs. He's got, like, one of those memories. Maybe it's in the 200s in the last year. A lot of gigs. A lot. Well, I was thinking, Lindsay, you have done so many gigs, like 200 you mentioned. I have something for you, because you must feel homesick. Here is something from Baltimore. Oh, what okay. can you say about Old Bay? Um, Old Bay is the greatest creation um, on Earth. This is... God made this. And, uh... Yeah, it's like a Baltimore export, I guess. And it's really good on everything. Popcorn, eggs, crabs, <laughs> steak, probably. Yeah, I put it on popcorn and eggs. Will that make you feel at home? Yeah, yeah. I'm actually really happy I have this right now. Thank you. I, I feel like when we're at the Airbnbs um, cooking, nobody ever thinks to buy any spices. So we just have bland eggs all the time. I, I have used Old Bay on everything. It's incredible. It's so good. Yeah. Um, yeah, there's so much Old Bay apparel in Maryland. It's like every store has like an Old Bay hat and an Old Bay jacket and Old Bay pants. It's bizarre, but I like the state pride. It's cool. <laughs> yeah, this is incredible. Yeah, thank you. You do a cover of Lewis. Yeah, second most beautiful girl in the world. What can I say about that? The Northwest. Um, well, I'm a really big fan of K Records um, and a lot of like... I don't know. I, I guess my friend made me a mixtape, like an actual tape, and that was one of the songs on it. And it um, just kind of changed everything for me. It's one of my favorite songs of all time. Um, and it's really underrated lyrically and musically, and it's just like, it's just beautiful. It makes me cry. Sometimes when I'm playing it live, I cry. Has Lois ever come out to any of your gigs? No, but uh, the second member of Courtney Love came to that, to one of our shows, I think. Unless... He's coming to the Seattle show. He's from Seattle. I got an email about it. Would you like to say anything to Lois? Yeah. Um, uh, I hope I'm doing your song justice. And hi. I'm a big fan. And you're also a fan of Tally Backman. She's so high. Ah, high above me. She's so lovely. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Canadian content. Yeah, it's a great song. And speaking of Canadian content, I have another gift for you a Tegan and Sarah Seven yeah. Edge yeah. from 2013. Amazing. From Vancouver, British Columbia, Canada, kind of. They're originally from Calgary. What do you think about Tegan and Sarah? I love them. I think it's an integral, I think their music is an integral um, rite of passage for most young gay girls i think um yeah i don't know i i was really excited when i discovered them i think it was just like it it was really empowering and and it was nice to have that it's kind of nice to just listen to pop songs about other written by girls for girls um which is something you just don't come by that often really um yeah i think and i guess one time ray and i when we were driving to south by southwest i think the first one we did um they like posted a screenshot of thinning or something and we pulled the car over and we're like ah! <laughs> um yeah but this is really cool thank you i have another gift for you snail mail right here a rose melberg seven inch and rose actually came to one of your gigs yeah she did at the neptune yeah 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 um yeah, I think that she was a big Waxahachie fan, um, and I didn't know who she was, and I I was like, I went up to Katie Waxahachie, and I was like, 
who who was that? And she was, and it was like as Rose was leaving, and she was like, "That was Rose Melberg." And I just sprinted out, and I was like, "Excuse me, <laughs> yeah, I'm a I'm a huge fan. Um, it's on like every mix CD I've ever made. Someone, and that is on a local label, Kingfisher Blues from Vancouver. Cool, and, and that's I'm, a gift for you. Thank you so much. Thursday night, the skate night. Yes, at Laurel Roller Rink. Yes, um. Yeah, skate night's awesome. It's like, I think it's for advanced skaters only from 7.30 to 9.30. That's why I go, because there's nobody like falling on the ground and I can just shred. And they, they play really great R&B on Thursday nights. Yeah. Did they play you? No. <laughs> That'd be cool. What do you think about WMUC? I'm trying to remember. Is WMUC American? Third Rail. That was the second ever snail mail performance. We did a set on Third Rail right after Unfest, and we played so poorly. I listened back, and I was like, I'm not going to play music anymore. Your mom likes WPUC, some country? She d- Oh, her store advertises on that channel, and she listens to it. Yeah, it's but she doesn't even listen to country, I don't think. She advertises on that channel? Yeah, I, she's a friends with somebody on PUC or something. I, I don't know. Maybe she does listen to it. I don't know. Why should people care about snail mail? Why should people care? Um, I think that I think that it's cool to care about anything, and I think that a lot of people care because the songs like make them feel emotion. So I think the coolest thing is to like let people care, and if you don't care, it's okay. You don't have to care. <laughs> Well, thanks very much, Snail Mail Lindsay. Keep on rocking in the free world and do do loot do. Do do. Yeah.